Awareness to what it means to be clean energy sustainable. We just partnered with the White House. Um, Pepsi is our co-sponsor. We're doing an HBCU tour. We're trying to get really authentic. You might have put me. We oh, might have put me. The black market is open. The black market. Excuse me. Excuse me. The black market is open. <laughs> We're hoping that we can get y'all engaged because it's, it's your audience. It's us. We drive culture. Yes. We're the ones that, if, it, if we don't get involved, it's not cool. It doesn't have a movement. It doesn't have our energy. So. Yeah. We got to get these corporations comfortable with giving us a lot of money again. That's what I was asking you I was on the phone doing. That right. Was, <laughs> I mean, it sounds good, doing. you know, because this is corporate, but if they ain't going to give us a lot of money. They have a lot of money. I know they have a lot of money, but by the time it get to us, it ain't a lot of money. Yeah, that's true. It's not. It's never as much as it should be and could be if it was our counterpart. Come on now. Always. Give me one of them out of Cyrus checks. First of all, welcome nice. to the black market. Oh, thank you. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> I would like for you to take this opportunity to introduce yourself to each and every last one of these cameras. All right. Hi, I'm Shahani Prescott. I'm the owner of Earth Angel PR. I specialize in publicity, um, but more, more recently, I have really focused on brand management. I work with big brands, small. I've done a ton of uh, stuff in entertainment, film, music, TV, lifestyle brands. And I've been in Atlanta forever, so this is my city. And how did you get your start? How did I get my start? I went through a divorce and did not know what I wanted to do with my life but I was always involved in music I used to sing. Okay. So a lot of my friends were in the music industry, producers, writers, and I would just help them out with different events and different things. I didn't really know what I was doing. I could write, I could, I could do a, a few other things that were more on the brand side with a corporate job. And somehow the, it became the makings of my PR company. I had a woman prophesy over me, saying that that's what I was gonna do. And one day I sat down, watched the ducks at Piedmont Park, and the name came to me, Earth Angel. Call it Earth Angel. And that was the start. I started during the recession of 08. Mm. Interesting times. Yes. Interesting yeah. times. Yeah. Help me. <laughs> Should you, would you like to hear more? Yes. <laughs> um, it, I think what it did is it helped me learn how to improvise think of my feet you know there was no money so i had to pay my dues in the time when people weren't paying anyway i would have already been laid off from my job and i worked a lot for free but i got the chance to work with major brands or major luxury brand adjacent and by the time the economy started rolling back again um, and people had money to spend i had the credibility i had the work behind me and that's kind of how that went pay it off it did, but I, I I got played, I worked for free, people were supposed to pay me, they didn't pay. That's the game. All of it. I had to learn all of it, yeah. Yeah. If you just don't give up, you it's You'll it figure out. it out. You'll figure it out. Yeah. See, that's the part of the game you can't escape no matter what it is that you're doing. It's like you said, that's the part of paying your dues. Yep. Going yep. through the ups and the downs. But now that you have the knowledge, never again. No. Lord, <laughs> they try to pull me back, but no. Never. <laughs> mm -mm, no. Once you know better, you do better. Exactly. Yeah. yeah for sure. So how has it been working in the entertainment industry and working with all these different brands and things of that nature? Like, like you said, when you were starting out to where you are now. You know, every day is different. It's never boring. Um, I've come across some of the most interesting people from civil rights icons to you know, major celebrities, reality TV, you know, which is big here. Those are a whole different kind of celebrity. Yeah. They be acting <laughs> like they got blockbuster movies. You know, uh, it's been 
interesting to see the whole reality world change too. So when I, you know, I was here with the beginning of the, the original OG housewives and team and to see what it is now and how it's evolved into this, this big thing, who knew? Like, right. who knew we were gonna be the reality TV show capital? But yeah, I, you know, I get into a lot of rooms, I see a lot of things, but it's fun. It can be stressful, but it can be a lot of fun. That's the cool part about Atlanta, though. Everybody been on something. Like everybody, right. literally everybody damn near has been on some form of TV show background, dancing, rapping, singing. And then there's always somebody every time, is that you, was that you? Oh, yes, <laughs> yes. They're gonna screenshot it, it's like the back of your neck, but they get you, yeah, yeah. for sure. I, yeah, I've been on a couple of them. See, everybody made a little cameo here and there. <laughs> yeah, I definitely have. When are you gonna be on Real Comedians of Atlanta? Mm -hmm. Can't give away all the secrets. <laughs> Nah, I'm, I'm good. You said you want the big checks. I think the Them big checks. The big corporate I'm checks. I'm good. No. Okay. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. That would be a nightmare. You know what though? You guys are real raw already. So how how much more wild could it be? That's the thing about it. It's not. It's very mild and tame. That's what I hear. Um, Y'all are very, from what I understand, you guys are very much about empowering the community, giving opportunities to people, making exactly. sure jobs are being built. Nobody exactly wants to so. see me just at work all the time. I think we need to see that, though. Mm -mm. No? Nah. The team says no. The, see, the te <laughs> even the team is sick of seeing me at work. Got you. Okay, well, you know. <laughs> they, they literally pulled me to the side and was like, go take a break work too much. I know, but I have heard stories. I heard stories of how you greet each and every person after the show. You've been there for hours at times. I've heard great things about how you give back. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, really? I don't know. Really? <laughs> no. <laughs> I have. No, and that, that's, this is just in conversations past. Even my sister said, you walked her, my sister and my niece love you. They love you. They're obsessed. Really? I, I know you have some obsessed people too. <laughs> But she, um, she said that she had a story like, I don't know, 10 years ago, you, you were walking every, you would walk women home, not home, but to their cars. Yeah. <laughs> you were walking to their cars just to make sure they were safe. You were real respectful, you were real cool. Like, Didn't try to oh, holler at nobody. Mm -mm, no, See? There's nothing like that. Exactly. Mm -hmm. They don't even believe stuff like that. Well, you know, the, us publicists, those are the stories we like because those are the things that people don't get a chance to see. You know, they, they see one element, but just like us as black people or people of color, we are multidimensional. We laugh, we cry, we work, we clown, we handle our business. So, you know, you have a lot of people that look up to you, so it's good for them to know that. Well, I love those people. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I appreciate Thank each you. and every last one of you. And for those of you who haven't even come around yet, you always welcome over here. Come on. Come on, bring it in. New fans, welcome. Yeah, Amen. all the time. Hallelujah. So what's next for you? What is next? So yeah, this we have a 12-city HBCU tour, um, you know, co-sponsored by Pepsi. White House is a partner. That's dope. Um, that's going to take up a lot of time. That and living, having fun, being balanced. That's the most you know, important part out of all this work, and you got to make sure you have some fun. Right. Like, live your life. Be what do you do for fun, like, outside of work? Oh, I like a lot of things. I like tea parties. I like to shoot guns. Tea and parties and guns? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you should yeah. rearrange your list a little bit. <laughs> nope. You got to put something soft in between tea parties and guns. Everything in between. I like the gun range. I love working out. I love art. I like... Um, I like tea and Zen things, meditation, uh, spiritual journeys, and crystals, and all. So you that. like chill shit and wild shit. Yeah. Oh, okay, and that's a Atlanta. nice, nice balance. <laughs> very Atlanta, yeah. Okay. Well, where can people find you? And where can they find me? They can find request me. your services and if things of that nature. I do consulting as well. I'm not taking a ton of projects right now, but I definitely consult. So I'm helping small businesses, individuals, and large brands who maybe aren't ready for a publicist, but just want someone that they could call and kind of have 
on hand, so I do that as well. And if they're interested in that, they can go to earthangelpr.com. Um, my Instagram is Shahani, S-H-E-H-A-W-N-E-E. -E -E. Uh, you might have to spell that one more time. That's a lot. <laughs> S-H-E-H-A-W-N-E-E. -E. That, that's why it's just one word. It's just my first name. You don't need anything else. That's too much for Instagram. <laughs> right. So, yeah, that's how they can find me. Well, I know this is your first time stopping through the black market. Don't let it be your last. Mm -hmm. And there you have it, J-O-N. The black market is open. Thank you.